So in order to be able to do that, I would do as follows. I would say f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x uh, plus f prime of x times delta x plus f double prime uh, of x times delta x square by 2 uh, plus order of delta x cube terms. Okay, because those are the terms which are left off now. Now what I can do is I can choose a point uh, delta x to the left of x. So, or you can algebraically look at it that I'm substituting for delta x. I'm substituting, substituting minus delta x. So I get f of x uh, plus f prime of x times minus delta x plus f double prime of x times uh, delta x uh, square divided by or minus delta x divided by um, factorial 2, this should be factorial 2, plus the order of uh, delta x cubed terms here. If I subtract the two, what I'm going to get is, um, uh, subtract the two, I'm going to get f of x plus delta x minus f of x minus delta x. And what's going to happen is these two are going to cancel. These two are going to add up. I get 2 times f prime of x delta x. This term is going to cancel because this is minus delta x squared. Minus delta x squared is going to become plus delta x squared. So it's going to cancel with this term here. So there'll be nothing left over. Plus the order of delta x cubed terms. So I'll have this term and this term here give me another term which is of the order of delta x uh, cubed. So from here, if I divide with delta x throughout, I get f of x plus delta x minus uh, f of x minus delta x uh, divided by 2 times delta x will be equal to f prime of x. But since I'm dividing by 2 times delta x, this means that the order of the terms which are left over here will be of the order of delta x squared terms. So that gives me f prime of x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x minus delta x uh, divided by 2 times delta x plus the order of uh, delta x squared. Just because you're taking it to the left hand side does not, uh, it does not matter what happens to the sign because these are simply terms of the order of delta x squared. And what you're finding out here is that this particular formula here is nothing but your central divided difference formula. That's your central divide difference formula. And the central divide difference formula has the remaining or the error term is proportional to delta x squared, not delta x anymore, as opposed to when we're talking about forward divide difference scheme. So that's why what happens is that as delta x is halved, your error also gets approximately quartered. So that's why the central divide difference scheme gives you a much more accurate answer than your forward or backward divide difference scheme. Because the central divide difference scheme the error is proportional to the order of delta x squared, while in forward and backward divide of a scheme, this term is not squared but just delta x. And that's the end of this segment.